Hey George and the subscribers of the Network Marketing Magazine. Excited to share this concept with you, George. Again, I love the topic, Network Marketing Psychology, and I want to talk about psychology from a leader standpoint. Uh, for years, we've taught the higher up you go in this, in this profession, as you raise through the ranks in your company, the more of a psychologist you have to become. Because the reality of network marketing is your income is in direct proportion to the number of leaders that you develop on your team. Bottom line, to create wealth with the network marketing industry it requires the ability to recruit and train and move people down the road and to develop leaders on your team. So when you look at the concept of developing leadership, uh, I've said for years, this business is built between your ears. It, it's, a, it's a psychological game. Uh, it, it honestly is. So the ability to recognize that as a leader is critical because most people get so involved in you know they want to sell products and they want to twist people's arms and talk them into joining the business and all that does is waste everybody's time involved your income is in direct proportion to the number of leaders that you develop on your team so how do you do that number one is you have to get them started correctly uh, and number one, the one, the first thing we teach our students, the number one thing you have to do with a new person is help them identify why they're doing the business. Until you know why, the how doesn't matter. So that's a mental thing because people have to stop and think about what is their upside potential, what do they really want from the business. And you know, this goes back to Earl Nightingale, 1962, The Strangest Secret. Uh, so the first thing we do is have people figure out their why. We do a top three, top 20 reason sheets. That's what we teach. And it opens people's mind up to the possibility. Now, you have, it, the business comes down to this. Know why, launch it, master a customer acquisition a program with a referral system on it, master a two-step recruiting process, uh, have some type of retention program in place and then run as many people through those those core those core systems as you possibly can so what happens when you get started and when you're working with people and you're a leader in this industry you get people started and what's going to happen is they're going to go and usually most people have a beginning spurt where they're turned on excited and then they fall they have they, they fall they, they, they lose their motivation now, as a leader, you have to know that's going to happen. That's happening in their mind. They hit a slump. They become skeptical, lazy, undecided, misdirected, and they, they're going to develop a poor attitude. It's predictable. It's happened over and over. So as a leader, when that starts happening in their mind, what are you going to do? What, what are you going to do knowing that's going to happen? Uh, so we have a program called Streak When You Slump, and it's like, you know, they they streak after they slump they set new goals uh, how you spell streak s t they train themselves they recommit they get their enthusiasm back they take they take action and k is knowledge and streak when you slump but you know that's going to happen as a leader psychologically you know that's going to happen so they're going to have a beginning spurt because you're going to help them launch their business systematically they know why they're doing it they launch it they're going to have a beginning spurt they're going to fall you have to be ready for that fall and what are you going to do how are you going to catch them right there when they fall and then they get back up and it's going to be like this it's up and down and down and up and along the path there's going to be what i call hurdles that people are going to have. These are mental blocks. It may be fear of the telephone. They're just scared to death to pick up the phone. It may be they're terrible at time management. It, it, it may be they, they don't feel comfortable directing a team or leading a team. There's so many hurdles along this path. Psychological hurdles. And you as a leader have to be able to provide them a third party tool, a book, a CD, when you see them in front of that hurdle, you, you recognize the hurdle because it's predictable because most all people go through the same hurdles. 
and you you know the tool you're going to get in their hand and you're going to help them get past that hurdle because if they get past the hurdle they'll continue to run they will continue to move forward that's what leadership does you have to get into the minds of your people that you're bringing down the road understand where they are understand why they stopped and now they've just become a social club member but they aren't really working anymore they're just kind of hanging out because they have a hurdle and it's psychological it's a self-limiting belief and leaders if you understand this path and how it goes and then up here is what's called a plateau and some of you have people on a plateau they're making a thousand fifteen hundred two thousand a month uh, they don't have to work too hard for it and they think you know I, I just can't continue to to go after as hard and they're just sitting back collecting their check on a plateau so that's what happens and then the plateau and then there's one final run to that six-figure income and uh, I get into great detail on this uh, it's it's a webinar I think it's at dalecalvert.com forward slash the road it's either the road or road but I talk about this because it's so predictable this business is built between your ears most people get stuck or never get started because of self-limiting beliefs and if you recognize that as a leader and you have your game plan for not just getting them in it's not just about getting them in it's getting them in helping them identify why they want to do it helping them move forward getting them in keeping them in after they slump keeping them in and then helping them move forward that's the game because you want people that have come down this road and are in a leadership position that can turn around and help other people come down the exact same road so I hope that helps George uh, I appreciate you I uh, appreciate what you're doing for the industry and uh, look forward to talking with you guys next month check it out again dalecalvert.com forward slash I think the road or road and it'll help you give you more information.